Hi, it seems there will be a counter mobilization to Saturday's pro Palestinian demonstration by the street ultra right. Advertised on Twitter by a resurgent Tommy Robinson, the formerly moribund Democratic Football Lads Alliance will be meeting up in central London with gathering points, Victoria Station, Embankment, Trafalgar Square, ostensibly to defend the Cenotaph in Whitehall from the pro Palestinians who will be about a mile and a half away and always going in the opposite direction. I don't think the DFLA counter-protest will be a success because it's going to be on match day. Also, it doesn't seem to have any definite plan except to gather. And they could possibly drift off to harass the march, but I think the majority will hang around the Whitehall area, getting boozed and coked up, ending up with the various firms having it out with each other. More importantly, the police will be on their case, prepared to kettle, batter and arrest any that step out of line, all to the befuddled outrage of the sozzled ageing lads. I'd also advise any anti types to steer clear, as the police will certainly nick them as well. Plus, I'm ashamed to say, they'd probably come out the worst with these experienced thugs and street fighters. It's outside London where the future clashes may occur. What with the vandalise of the Rochdale War Memorial, the assault on the 75-year-old poppy seller at Waverley Station, plus other incidents, real or imagined, spread by social and mainstream media, pro-Palestinian marches away from the capital could prove a, a target for attacks by emboldened ultra-right elements. As I suspect Saturday's counter-mobilisation proves to be a flop, that doesn't mean that these elements won't be able to gain traction and will attract support from a wider segment of the population where it counts on the streets. This will prove invaluable as practice runs for when Labour assume power, when in turn the populist right mobilise. Again, you can't say that you haven't been warned. Bye.